A Saturday presentation of the NBA. It's the Utah Jazz going up against the Chicago Bulls. Up next on 2K Sports. Greetings, everyone. Kevin Irwin here alongside my partner, Clark Kellogg. Glad to have you join us tonight. We've got the Utah Jazz and the Chicago Bulls. The starters for the Utah Jazz. Brian Russell is out there with Malone. Then there's John Stockton. Then it's Jeff Hornacek. And for Chicago, Dennis Rodman is out there with Pippen. Then it's Michael Jordan. Then it's Longley and Harper. And the Jazz start out with the ball. Stockton outside. He's guarded by Harper. Malone, Rodman covering. Malone gets the bucket. Here's Harper. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. I was able to talk with Phil Jackson for a minute. Making things difficult when they're on defense is something they would like to accomplish in this one. He feels that if they can force things away from the basket, make their shooters settle for shots they don't want to take, they'll have the upper hand in this game. We'll see how it turns out, guys. And he slams it home. Here's the replay on the spike slam camp. Boy, when you run the fast break correctly, it's a thing of beauty. Here's Stockton. Jordan against Hornacek. Rebounded by Rodman. And here are the Bulls now. Outside Pippen. He's guarded by Russell. Shots good by Pippen. He's just so gifted offensively. He's a tough guy to match up with. On defense, Chicago. Stockton outside. And Malone backing in. And no good. But close on that one, so he'll shoot two. Contact certainly altered that shot. The official was right on top of it. The first one falls. Robert Parrish is checked in for Chicago. Kerr comes in for Ron Harper. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Curry. About four and a half minutes left in the first. Here's Jordan. And it's Chicago scoring again. Here is Stockton. Back to Malone. From about 16, the Jazz with another miss. Really not enough defensive pressure there to force that miss. He's got to be disappointed. Back to Jordan. Tipped and stolen by Stockton. Here's Russell. Oh! That's great D leads to easy offense. Here's Kerr. Hornacek against Jordan. Here's Kerr, off target for three. And so here is Utah. Back to Stockton. It's Hornacek on the wing, uncovered. Can't get it to go, so the Bulls will take it the other way. 
And here is Jordan. Banks it home. Jordan's got six points. With the high basketball IQ at the offensive end, this guy is just waiting for you to make one mistake as a defender. If you do, he'll take advantage of it. Here is Stockton. Russell with it. And Malone backing in. Down to five on the shot clock. Rodman with the defensive effort. He's not giving an inch on defense. He really bothered that shot. Here's Pippen. Kept alive. Here's Parrish. Nails it from close range. Parrish. You can't forget about him when you're boxing out. That's what he does. He crashes the glass. Kerr against Stockton. It's Hornacek on the wing. Pass to Malone. 13 feet out. That's good. Malone's got six. That's exactly where the coach wants him to get his shot, Kevin. Right there from mid-range. Pippen kicks to Jordan. Hornacek covering. And they double up Jordan. And oh, that was close. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. Tough interior defense means not allowing easy baskets. Good foul. Shooting in Chicago. Michael Jordan. Taking two shots. The first free throw is good. Chicago making some changes. Luke Longley's checked in for Parrish. And it's Kukoc in for Dennis Rodman. The Jazz also changing it up. Jones has checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here is Stockton. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Defended by Kerr. Here's Hornacek. Off the mark with the three ball. I don't know what the defense was thinking there. As a matter of fact, I think they went brain neutral. They don't ever want to give up an open look like that to him again, even if he did miss this time. And the Bulls with another miss. Jazz trail by four. Now here's Stockton. The open shot by Malone, and that's collected by Longley. He's had some problems finding the range here in this quarter. Kerr against Malone. Malone against Kerr. And the Bulls with another miss. On offense, here are the Jazz. Four-point game. Here's Russell. Jordan is on it. They'll allow him to get that off all day. He's guarded by Russell. With the fadeaway, Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got 10 points in the game. Boy, this is fun to watch. This guy is putting on a show right now. He's making it look really easy. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Here is Stockton, looking for his first bucket of the game. Jeff Hornacek on the wing. On the money! Here's Harper. 25 seconds left in the first quarter. And it's good, assisting on the play was Jordan. Here is Stockton. They trail by six. Smith right side. Let's go with a three. And that's not going to go. First quarter over and big numbers up on the board. Bulls lead by six. They're playing lockdown D, Kevin. As a coach, you can't ask for anything more. The NBA here on 2K Sports.
And off we go, a close game now entering the second quarter. Here is Harper, six point game. So is Stockton on the bench. Here's who's on the floor for Jerry Sloan. They've got Malone and Jones. Takes it up, Smith's shot is good. Smith's got his first points in this one. The Bulls leading by four. Outside Jordan, over Russell. The shot by Jordan, no good. And Utah has possession, trailing by four. Smith against Harper. Here's Malone, and he makes the basket. So one free throw coming up as he'll try to make it a three-point play. Scotty Pippen's checked in for the Bulls. And he completes the three-point play. Here is Harper. Side Pippen. The shot is off. And Utah the other way. Smith outside. And Malone backing in. They double him with Jordan. Malone misses. Chicago leading. Harper up top. From the wing, and again, Chicago, no good. A big possession here. Can they come back to take the lead? Russell working against Jordan. Fades away, and Russell gets it to go. And the Jazz lead by one. I'm not a big fan of the fadeaway in that situation, but he drained it. Nice shot. Harper kicks to Pippen. And it's Pippen again missing. And here are the Jazz now. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Pippen against Smith. Here's Russell. Off the mark from three. You know, nine out of ten times, he's making you pay on a wide open look like that. I guess that was number ten, though. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. Back to Pippen. Over Malone. Again, the miss by Pippen. And so here is Utah. Now Smith. He's picked up by Jordan. And Malone backing in. Baseline jumper, and he hits the jump shot. Malone's got 11. You can see that they've broken out of a bit of their shooting woes in the first quarter. I mean, they were slumping in that quarter. But they found better scoring opportunities here in the second. So for the Bulls, Robert Parrish has checked in for Longman. Rodman comes in for Tony Kukoc. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. And making a change here, the Jazz. Here's Kerr. No points for him. Now Parrish. Left side, Rodman. Here's Pippen. Hammers it in. And look at how he posed on the rim for a few seconds after that one. That's never going to endear you to your opponents. They don't like that kind of stuff. No, he was enjoying that one so much he didn't want to let go. Yeah, I think he was throwing salt in the wound, though. Utah leading. Hornacek outside. A dump off. Pass to Stockton. Rebound, Parrish. Shocking how wide open he was. Even more shocking that he couldn't sink it. Outside Pippen. Backing down is Jordan. Fires from 14. John Stockton with the rebound. And so here is Utah. Only giving up two points this quarter. Drains it from short range. 
Here's Kerr. 2-13 left in the second. Jordan against Hornacek. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He purely missed that one. Jeff Hornacek. His second person. First team. At the line for the Bulls. Michael Jordan. Two shots. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. Jordan having a terrific game. He has 12 points, and his free throw numbers are good. Four of his points have come from there. He's carrying them right now. He scored over half of their points. Stockton with a screen on Jordan. Hornacek passes to Stockton. Not enough room for that pass to be made. Here's Pippen. Throws down the breakaway jam. Excellent defense, and the steal earns him a quick bucket in transition. Utah trailing here. Utah calls timeout. Both teams deciding to change it up. Here's Hornacek. Lobs it up. Smith. Nice finish on the LU. Smith's got his second basket of the game. Boy, these guys have a terrific feel for each other. You have to, you have to, in order to make plays like that. Don't you think you can tell that they love being on the court together? Boy, they're having a good time. Pass to Jordan, and stolen by Stockton. And here are the Jazz now. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Here's Hornacek. The basket is good. The assist from Stockton. He's got five. He might not get a better look than that all game. You have to get closer to him. He's not going to bite you. Get up in him. Here's Rodman. And almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Malone. Shooting for Chicago. Dennis Rodman. Two shots. And that one misses. That one is no good. Well, it's obvious they've really made it a point to be much more aggressive, doing a better job of getting to the foul line, more so than the first four. He got baited into throwing that one. The defense was well on top of it. Bushler backs him down, tosses it up, and again, Chicago, no good. They can make this a two-for-one opportunity. And here's Stockton. And Malone backing in. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. First one falls for him. And the Bulls making a change here. Pippen's checked in. The Jazz making a switch. He hits both from the strike. Here's Kerr. Not on the scoreboard yet. They'd be smart to hold it now for the last shot.
Jordan kicks to Pippen. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Pippen's got eight points. In the first, he had trouble hitting with any consistency. But here in the second, he's turned it around. And the first half is now in the books. Checking out the game Carl Malone is having. He's got 13 points, and he's knocked down five shots at the charity strike. Good numbers for him. That's a first half he can be proud of. It's the Jazz up four. And we got a fun one going on in Chicago as HP presents our halftime report. Utah with the lead against Chicago. You talk about a formidable defense showing, they've left them dazed and confused. Brian Russell making his presence felt early. He ended up with a few points and has gone to work on the glass, grabbing a few rebounds. And the Bulls going all out. They've played gritty D and have been hauling in the defensive rebounds. Some terrific basketball from Michael Jordan. He has 12 points and has added a couple assists in this one too. Some great basketball in today's action from these two as they've led the way in scoring for their teams. Thanks so much for tuning in. Now let's get you back out to the start of the third quarter. I'm Damon Bruce. So long, everyone. The second half is now beginning. It's been a close one. Neither team has been able to get an edge. Here's Harper. Long way out there with Dennis Rodman. Then there's Pippen. Then there's Harper and Jordan. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Jazz leading by four. Here's Russell. No luck on the three-point attempt. Outside Jordan. Back to Harper. Pass to Jordan. Gets right iron and drops with the friendly bounce. Jordan's got 14. Here's Stockton. Malone down low. Rodman covering. It's two on one. Up ahead, here's Jordan. That falls. Nice feed that time from Scottie Pippen. 16 points for Michael Jordan. Here comes Stockton. Pass to Malone. Working on Rodman. Here's Russell. The Jazz with another miss. And right out of the half, they're cold. Missing on their first three attempts. Jordan and the Bulls tack on two more. When he gets it going like this, you've got to double team it. That's your only hope. Utah trailing here. Here is Stockton. The alley-oop. Trying to convert on the alley-oop, but snatched away. Good anticipation. Oh, and the jam by Jordan. That's a nice finish in transition, partner. That's exactly how you run the break. Here is Stockton. Right around four minutes left in the third. Jeff Hornacek on the wing. And Malone backing in. Here's Stockton. And that one's in from the low post. Stockton's got his second bucket. Well, that's a start. They get one to go down finally, but now they need to build on it to keep the momentum going. He should leave those long bomb passes alone. And it's Russell missing. And it's the Bulls with the ball. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Shots good by Pippen. That's a terrific play. All he had to do was catch it and finish. Utah calls timeout. Making a switch here, the Bulls. <laughs> On defense, Chicago. They lead by four. 
Stockton with it. Malone down low. Rodman on him. Got the bucket and the foul. Terrific body control on that finish. Bucket plus one. Checking out the game Carl Malone is having. He has 15 points and some of his offense coming at the foul line with five points there. And no problem at the line here for the three-point play. Here is Harper. 2.58 left in the third quarter. Fires from 14. The shot, no good. And here go the Jazz the other way. They've trailed by as many as six. Here's Hornacek. Hits the left of the rim and gets the friendly bounce. Seven points in the game. Chicago trailing here. Deflected. Here's Pippen. And he slams that one in. That's a terrific throwdown. He's one of the league's dunk maestros, Kevin. Yeah, you're right, Clark. You can see how much his teammates really appreciate that effort. They love it. Here's Stockton. Five on the clock. Here's Malone. And oh, that was close. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. Dennis Rodman picks one up. And he knocks down the first one. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Dennis Rodman. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Here's Harper. 2.04 left in the third. Pass to Jordan. Hornacek covering, and they double up Jordan. Cannot hit. And here go the Jazz the other way. Well, Kevin, they've been fighting it out for the rebounds here, so, so far it's an, it's an even match in that area. Kukoc against Malone. There's the double team with Pippen. Connected on the shot, and he was fouled. A chance here for a three-point play. And making a change here, the Jams. Jones has checked in. The end one is good, so a three-point play that time. As a team, they've been um, perfect from the line in this half. They've made them all. That's a good job, and that's exactly what you want. When you're going to get to the line, take advantage of those freebies. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over.
Here's Harper. From about 16, kept alive. And Pippen slams it in. When he can turn a missed shot into that kind of slam, maybe the miss was a good thing. Well, and what a lift it gives a team to see that type of play. Well, he's leading by example. He's actually walking the talk when he makes plays like that. Hornacek dishes to Malone. Malone is doubled. They double him with Jordan. Here's Hornacek. The Jazz with another miss. It's a close game here in Chicago. Outside Jordan. Smash down. He's got 22. 10 in this quarter alone. His all-star effort has it knotted up. They'd be down big without his contribution. Now here's Stockton. He dumps it off. Malone kicks to Russell. Can't hit from beyond the arc. The thrill is gone and so is his offense. He's not making anything. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Oh! oh, oh man. Man. That should be absolutely illegal. Oh, man. Now that's nasty. And making a change here, the Jams. Nice job at the line, and that one falls to pick up the end one. Here is Stockton. Smith outside. Back to Stockton. They need this. The Jazz with another miss. He's been AWOL this quarter. When his team is down in the need of some scoring from him, he hasn't shown up. Well, it's been an exciting game as we finish the third. Jordan having a terrific game. 25 points, and the contribution from the line for him, he's made five free throws. He's passing the ball so well right now and is really focused at the charity stripe, too. And we'll return momentarily. So as we get rolling here in the fourth, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for the Sprite Spark Report. Doris? Hey, Kevin. Well, our spark of the game goes to the Bulls for that major surge. During the third quarter, they put together a nice run and really look to have the momentum in this game, Kevin. Great, Doris. That big scoring run being a difference maker, Clark, in this game. Well, it often comes in spurts, Kevin. Spurtability is what I call it, and that's what happened today. Here is Stockton. And Utah looking at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. Brian Russell is out there with Malone. Then it's Jeff Hornacek. Passes back. Stockton outside. Four on the clock. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Well, it's clear they've got the advantage on the boards in this one, Kevin. He's guarded by Russell, and they double up Jordan. Here's Kukoc from downtown. It's rebounded by Stockton. And Malone backing in. Here's Russell. The shot misses, so the Bulls will take it the other way. The defense hasn't let him get too many clean looks in this game. He's having trouble getting it done at the offensive end here, and I think you've got to credit the defense. Jazz trailed by three. Stockton up top. Covered by Long. Here's Hornacek. And good with the shot. And the whistle blows for the contact and a chance for one more. So both teams changing it up here.
good for the three-point play. Here's Kerr. Outside Jordan. Right side Jordan. Bullseye! Jordan's got 27. Here is Stockton. About four and a half minutes left to the fourth. Hornacek against Jordan. Keith. The Jazz with another miss. Chicago leading. And here's Kukoc. Pass to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Back to Kukoc. Now here's Jordan. Working on Williams. Just five on the clock. Here's Kukoc. No good on the baseline, J. On offense, here are the Jazz. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Here's Stockton. Drops it in from 12 feet. Terrific shot there. He had a taller defender on him, but he created just enough space to get the jumper up inside. Kerr with it. Wide open. That's good. And the Bulls lead by two. And the Jazz call time here. I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Jerry Sloan had to say to his team. He told them, tone it down from three-point range. They haven't shot a high percentage from out there, and he said, hey, we've got to focus on stepping in and taking the easier shot. Let's get that going, and we'll come back to the distance shot later. Guys? Thanks again, Doris. So both teams making some changes here. No good on that one. That's off as well, so he misses both. Right now, these guys holding on to a small lead. It's anyone's game right now, partner. Every possession is critical. Johnson against Harper. Behind the arc. And Pippen with the basket. The assist from Ron Harper. He can be dangerous from outside. Sure, he didn't get one to go in the first. But we know he can get on a roll and knock him down. Now Stockton. He dishes it. He's guarded by Harper. Johnson left side for three. Dennis Rodman pulls it in. The Bulls leading by five. The three. Harper, no good. And here we go with John Stockton. He's picked up by Pippen. Johnson outside. Guarded by Jordan. Johnson, the pass to Stockton. Kept alive. And closing the shot, even with the foul. Now the two free throws. Two 
Jerusalem. Off on the first, Luke Longley's checked in for Chicago. Jeff Hornacek, he's checked in for the Jazz. Connects on number two, and that narrows the gap to four. He couldn't get them on. It's still a two-possession game. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're winning by four. 152 left in the game. Making a switch here, the Bulls. Parrish has checked in. Here's Harper. Right side, Jordan. 18 feet away. Bullseye! He's taking center stage here in the second half. He's been getting bucket after bucket. Utah calls timeout. They're down by six. 143 left in the fourth. Luke Longley's checked in for Robert Hill. Here is Stockton. Let's it go from the wing. No good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. They're showing a slight advantage on the boards in this one. Oh! Uh-oh. A little bit of a statement made there while he hung on the rim. That's one way to make sure the whole building knows exactly what you just did. Here is Stockton. 123 left in the game. It's dumped off. Just five to shoot. Here's Hornacek. Stockton from outside. And that is good. He's starting to pick up his game in this half. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're leading by five. 101 left to the fourth. Making a switch here with the Bulls. Here's Harper. He's covered by Stockton. Rodman against Malone. Back to Rodman. Clock at four. From deep, Jordan kept alive. Lennington, a foul called, and he earns a trip to the line.
good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. Perfect from the line, and it's a seven-point ball game. Clutch free throws there. He drained them all to raise the lead. And the Jazz call time here. They're behind by seven. 35 seconds left in the game. Clark, what are your thoughts? It's probably going to take a miracle, but you never know. They have to score immediately, foul on the inbound, and then pray for some missed free throws at the other end. Robert Parrish has checked in for Chicago. Here's Hornacek. Malone, left side. Malone, left side. They double him with Jordan. Jacks up the triple. And again, it's the Jazz from Z. His shooting so far has been a bit spotty. So hopefully that's a sign that he's back on track. Chicago calls timeout. They're in front by four. 20 seconds left to the fourth. And the Bulls making a change here. Here is Harper. And so they'll try to extend the game with the intentional foul here. That's the right move. Stop the clock and hope they make a mistake you can take advantage of. Gets the first that puts them up by five. And the Bulls making a change here. Two for two, and it's a six point ball game. And the Jazz call time here. They're losing by six. 19 seconds left in the game. Clark, what's your take? You have to be impressed by their tenacity. Still fighting, but the odds are definitely not in their favor. They need to hit a quick shot here, preferably a three, and then foul. Here is Stockton. Off the inbound pass. Scotty Pippen grabs the miss. And so they will intentionally foul. No good on the first. And the Bulls making a change here. Sinks the second, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Here is Stockton. Hornacek outside. Back to Stockton. Takes a three, and that's collected by Longley. Here's Harper. And so is Chicago winning this one. They came, they saw, they conquered. Hey, Kevin, to me, any win is a good win. That about does it for Clark Kellogg and Doris Burke and the rest of our great crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long and thanks for watching. Now, here is our Jordan Brand Player of the Game.